Why hello there people, my name is Beg Mooney, this is episode number 16 of the Battlefield 4 Top Plays and I want to take a moment out before we get into today's episode to thank you guys for your continued support on this series. You guys have been awesome in the amount of likes and all the rest of it that you guys have been leaving on these videos. If any of you guys out there have friends who are massive fans of the Battlefield series, then share this video with them. The more people we can get in here, the better sense of community we can get in here. The more clips we can get sent, the more awesome stuff we can show. You know it makes sense, but if you're also new here, don't forget to subscribe. Episodes up every Friday on my channel. But as per usual, you can check out last week's winner in the description down below. Subscribe to them or whatever you want to do. And uh, let's get into today's episode now, shall we? Not entirely sure what that noise was there from Nova L. Mac as he just took that jet right out of the sky there using the tow missile off the side of a boat. But uh, he got pretty excited about it to the point where he launches another one and again. Ah! I got the other one! Oh. I think the other guy in the call just shot himself there. Moving on. For number two here, we've got Mantis701. A few of you guys may recognize this guy here. And, uh, well, he's known in the Battlefield community for, uh, his, uh, knifing skills. And they're definitely going to be on show in this video just here. Especially as he just goes right through that guy there and knifes thin air. But, uh, this is Battlefield 4. There you go. He spots his next target here, hunting for his second pair of tags. He gets this guy slashing his throat there. That looks brutal as fuck, man. Like, screw getting that done to you, man. But we jump down here off the balcony. This guy's just chilling. We take him down there with our MTAR 21. And uh, his friend just gets absolutely shredded by our teammates. But uh, fast forwarding through just here, we find our next target. Again, we get in there, stab him right in his chest. And we move on once more. Again, speeding through this here. It's quite a long clip, so we want to try and get through this as quickly as possible as we take down our next target there with the MTAR 21, as well as his friend. Or we just get a kill assist. Either way, bullets were fired. He's dead now. And now we're just going to move on to our next target. It's taking down the next one there with the MTAR 21 once more. And uh, we go in the hunt here for this last guy. He just about gets away after we tag him. This guy gets absolutely outplayed as he just comes charging down into the trenches and just gets stabbed out of nowhere. Speeding through this once more, we go up here back into the middle of the map here on Paracel Storm TDM. And uh, we spot our next target. We spray fucking all over the place, but we do eventually kill him there with the MTAR 21 with a silencer on it. He is a stealthy motherfucker here, and uh, our next guy just gets shot right in the face as well as another stab. And uh, I've experienced firsthand the, the knifing capabilities of uh, of Mantis. I got my own back at one point, but uh, he he's quick on the draw when it comes to stabbing people. If you just walk past him, that you know those sort of awkward encounters with enemies where you just bump into them. Nine times out of ten, he will stab you if you run into him like that. But uh, we can spot our next target just here, and uh, well, well, we'll see in a second this guy who's just, we're just determined. We're gonna get this guy. As he jumps down the stairs, we follow suit, and uh, we get in there, stabbing him in the face, and the guy is called Don't Stab Me. <laughs> Oh, the irony just there, man, as we take him down. This guy tries to stab him, and it's just like, Son, the counter knife is OP. You're not going to be able to stab me from the front. I'm not too sure I've ever been stabbed from the front in this game. The, the counter knife, the, the amount of time you've got is just ridiculous. You're never going to get stabbed from the front, but we're just going to go on another knifing spree, taking down another two guys in quick succession before we do eventually die with a 14 kill streak with nine knives. Nice play, moving on. For clip number three here, we've got Camelopone, I think. And then we're just chilling with the sniper. And he moves up that, just the way that he just adjusts and fires so quickly. Perfect there, taking the guy off the side. Numero cuatro here, we've got Mitch Doss HD, and he's in the gunner seat of a helicopter. He has a TV missile. He's lining up his targets. They collide and he takes down two choppers with one TV missile. I, I really mainly included this clip because of just how hilarious it was that those guys totally fucked up and got punished. He takes down another tank towards the end just there with another TV, but uh, yeah, that was pretty damn awesome. 
Number five, we've got Guess Who, playing on Henan Resort, or Heinen Resort, I still don't know how to say that. I'm sorry, I'm Scottish, I don't know how to pronounce shit. But uh, we flatten our first target, I think, this day. He may have just obliterated the guy, and then he just sort of lost control of the chopper, slamming off at the side of the cliff. But uh, the rest of the flying throughout this clip is uh, much better. Don't really judge someone off of the first two seconds of the clip. But uh, moving into the middle of the map here, we take down our first guy there. We've got the, uh, I believe it's the 25mm cannons. I've still not used them. I'm not a pilot in any capacity in this game. But uh, they do look fun to use and I'm intending on getting them at some point. It just seems that everyone uses the 25mm cannons instead of using the miniguns these days. It just appears that they're just so much better. But we just wipe out two people there as we approach this big burning rubble wreck. And then uh, we take down another one. I thought we were going to get another one in there, but apparently if I was just seeing shit, we take down another guy who was just chilling there. He had no idea. There was a chopper right next to him somehow. Or, or maybe he just didn't give a fuck. I don't know. But we take down our next guy. And uh, we're gonna go on the hunt for some more targets. We clock one guy here shooting some hoops and then he just gets absolutely annihilated here with the cannons and then we spot his mate so we're just uh, chilling off the side and we just squish the guy. He got out his, uh, I think it was a javelin or something, I don't know what it was, but he just absolutely smashes him right in the face with his helicopter as well as taking down another one of them there who was just crossing the street. I do enjoy these types of clips where someone just goes from target to target to target with very little downtime between taking on enemies, he even captures a flag with a helicopter, which I wouldn't really advise doing. He did do it quite quickly just there, because I've, I've seen countless times people getting annihilated while capping flags, but that was a nice clip with a nice streak there, good stuff. number seven here we've got TBG Hayes and uh, he's on Dawnbreaker parachute ninjas there we've got an enemy helicopter buzzing around killing everyone and uh, so we just shoot the pilot right in the face jumping off of the building we come flying down here all Superman leg we just about make it onto that ledge just there and uh, as we come around this corner we do spot one guy in the corner and we take his face off also with our sniper rifle and uh, it seems that this uh, helicopter hasn't quite recovered from the bullet in the face that the pilot received so we're just going to deliver a package of C4 and turn it into teeny tiny pieces and then just no scope a guy for good measure who just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Speeding forward here though we have uh, a spot our next guy who was just looking off wistfully into the distance and he just takes a bullet through the back of the napper. Nice Finland flag there on your gun good sir representing I see and we're just going to run along this little alleyway just here he seems one of those sort of twitchy snipers who switches his gun back and forward a lot for some odd reason. We spot our last target here, bending the bullet over the bus, we get a headshot. For number odd show here, we've got Dark Mike 10. And he's playing Operation Metro, he has a grenade launcher and he intends to use it as he comes up the stairs here. Uh, the enemy team just gets absolutely obliterated there man, they would just get turned to ash in seconds. And uh, he goes from 0 to 1,300 points just instantly. And uh, we're just going to mop up the rest of the guys that were holding back our team. This is a great play just simply due to the fact that he clears out the entire metro on the B flag in Conquest, which it, it can really just turn into a clusterfuck when, when you're trying to fight over this B flag and you can't get in there. But he clears it out, gets a massive point streak, and his team end up with a flag. For number 9 here, we've got Mr. Ripper, and uh, he's playing some air superiority, and uh, it's the helicopter variation of air superiority, so he's got his own attack chopper just here, and um, this clip, I've honestly never seen someone so accurate against other helicopters with their main missiles. This guy is so accurate with his shots that the enemy team do not stand to chance. But um, you might notice the clip is slightly sped up, not too much, you can still see what's going on and all the rest of it. It is slightly sped up though because it's quite a long clip, but um, we do want to fit in as much as possible into the top place here. So unfortunately he does miss uh, his first target there with the TV missile as he switched to the gunner seat. You might notice he does not have a gunner, so he has a massive disadvantage to quite a few of uh, the enemy pilots in this game mode just here because... 
when you're going chopper v chopper, usually it's the gunner that has to take out the enemy chopper. But in this case just here, it's this guy um, just going up toe to toe with the enemy choppers using his main missiles. Every now and again he switched to secondary missiles. And uh, just there he swooped down, took down an enemy pilot. And uh, as we go into this sort of little canyon just here, this guy is just trying to get away as quickly as possible. We're not going to let him get away, however, and we take him down also, getting ourselves a double kill. Swinging back around, though, we spot our next guy who, uh, he really stood no chance. So we just came down on top of him, just smashed him with a few rockets, taking him out of the sky. And uh, we switched to our secondary rockets just here. I do not know how he doesn't get credited with that kill. However awesome it did look when he smashed the guy and then he just flipped out of the sky. But uh, going into this canyon again, we take down another guy there, getting another double kill. And, um, well, this clip, like I mentioned uh, earlier on, is a very long clip. Uh, and in the end, he takes down 11 helicopters on his own. I want you guys to note that I do cut off about a minute of the clip. We do feature the large bulk of it, but we don't quite get the end. But, um, when you take into consideration the fact that he's in a chopper all on his own, up against all of these chopper crews with the the chopper gunner and the pilot and each and he comes out with 11 in a row is pretty awesome for our last clip today we've got mr. Manolol now a few of you may recognize this stunt and he does give credit to the original guy who found this but um I just want you guys to sit back and watch this for you that don't know what's going on this is awesome Yes, he just whipped the enemy jet out of the sky using the massive cable and some C4. Of course, for you guys that recognize this stunt, it originally was performed by Ponyline HD. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's top plays. If you did, hit that like button down below. Goodbye.